What is up guys, it's Enigma here, um, from Void Griefing, and this is the fifth episode of our tutorial series on how to create a Minecraft hacked client. This episode I'll be doing one thing only, and that is Chest ESP. Um, our team, one of our team members, Void, pretty much the leader, Jake, um, he's asked me to include the Chest Finder into our hacked client. Um, so before I do that, I'm actually just going to make a tutorial while while I'm writing out the code and whatever, and while I've got it figured out, so first make our new boolean make sure you type it right public static boolean we'll call it chest for short equals false and we save that and then we want to make our check key um, I'm just going to copy it and instead of the left control I'm going to do G. I don't use G for anything anyway, so I'm going to change that to chest and chest. Next, what we want to do is we want to do our draw string. So I'm just going to copy that once again. Just do the L control. I, just, I did change that by the way from last time because it was just too much text. It just looked a mess. Chest finger. Right, sorry about that, I had a phone call and I lost my train of thought. So anyway, just change this to 80, 10 pixels down, um, and then we'll just copy this one as well. So copy and paste, and then we'll just change the variables and text in this. G equals chest finder, and that is 80. And that's what's done with this class and that class. So now what we want to do is open up render global.java and then we want to type in render entities and put an opening bracket there and that'll take us down to here. A vec3 power one vec3. Just above this, above this blue text, we want to get some space and we'll type in public static void chest finder double x double y double z and that will be our arguments uh, which in these arguments in this case would be the size of the chest and um, what we want to type in is gl11.gl blend function and we'll set that as 770 and 771 771 and then we want to and then we want to get our colour, so that's gl11.gl gl and we'll use free let's just use our let's use a double um, and we'll set this to an H yellow colour I think so we can use two two four seven And another interruption. So anyway, red, green, and blue. So let's just change that to two four four, and um, we'll change that to fifty seven. This is just a color code for yellow. Um, if you wanted to three F, then I wouldn't recommend going above above three because it's a float value, and the float doesn't always necessarily mean a double or integer. Um, now after that, we want to get our line width. So that's GL eleven. Not twenty two dot gl line width, and the width is going to be a float value. Um, I'm going to set it as two f, and that's kind of a good value. Two point five also works quite nice. I find. Next, we want to get a couple of disable functions, and I'm not going to go over this gl disable, and the cap for this one is three double five three. And we're also going to do another one of those GL GL disable. And it's going to be two nine two nine. And then we're going to do um, GL eleven dot GL depth mask. And it's a boolean, so we're going to change it to false, like so. 
and then we're going to do our draw draw out lined bounding box no axis aligned BB and our arguments is going to be X plus 1 AM Y plus 1 Z plus 1 X Y Z now you will get an error on this line and where the error is just highlight it, hover above it and it will say change modifier of axis line BB to static. So once you do that it should work fine. Remember these values here, this Z, it has to correspond to these ones up here. You can call them what you like, it doesn't really matter too much. And then you want to type in gl11.gldepthmask and then we're gonna sort no sorry geo.depth mask and it's a boolean so we're gonna put in here true and I don't want to go into detail about what all this means but this is basically just draw, gonna draw like a little holographic box around the chest it's one that's like one pixel offset um and then it's gonna like make sure that it will display above ground like it will render like through any sort of wall and then we're going to do gl.gl enable and then we're going to enable those two functions that we disabled here well pretty much gl11.gl .gl enable 2929 and that's us done for our chest finder so now what we want to do is we're going to go to tile entity chest renderer so tile entity chest renderer we want to open this up and then we want to scroll down a little bit until we find render tile entity chest at we want to do an if statement if mods.chest so if your chest thing is enabled then we want to give our render global um, chest ESP we want to give it some arguments which is the basically the size of the chest so it can draw the thing so we want to do render global dot chest finder and it will give us these arguments so we just type in par2 par4 and par6 and these are the dimensions of the position or whatever you like to call it now that's all you need to do so I'll run this quickly and show you what it does so let's quickly open up our save So let's say we've got a chest here. If we enable our chest finder, you can see that it draws a bounding box around it. Now, I guess double doesn't really work like the the call the double car values. So what we can do instead is let's first redo this and we'll go back into render global. Render global and we'll find chest and our color instead of 3D we'll change to 3F. The values can be two point five two point five and this last one can be Uh, 0 0.5 I guess because it's a float it needs to be F yep so save it as that and then we'll save it once again and then we'll run the game 
Now let's see. Um, hopefully this should draw as a nice yellow line. You can mess around with it. Um, I don't know if you can go higher than three. I don't think you can go higher than three. There you go. That's that's yellow. You can also change the width of the line. Um, I think it looks quite nice at three F. Three F looks a nice thickness. Right, there you go. Um, that's you got your chest ESP, and it does work through blocks. You can still see it through stuff. You can see it through the ground, and yeah. Well, that about does it for this tutorial. Um, maybe we can find a little example of a chest underground, like a dungeon, possibly. And we might have to turn up around others, and so one actually renders. Oh, there, there's one down there. You can see it's darkened, but if we turn on full bright, it should render. Uh, it should render in full brightness. So there we go. We can go see this chest. See what's in it. So we can tell that it's just under here. And that is an odd chest that I have not even placed. That is quite odd. <laughs> oh wait, maybe I did place that chest, but um anyway. There you go, that's a simple chest finder. Um I will work on a better one that actually like draws any actual coloured box and stuff. It actually shows the chest, like the texture, but for now this will do. It's a quick code and it's not too much to copy, so um, if you enjoyed the video, could you please leave a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, then please subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, and I guess there's a chest over here. Oh, this is actually the spawn point, so I guess you have to wait till this chest can kind of render in. Until the until the visible really, but it's still useless nevertheless, um, especially on servers because you usually the chunks are loaded when there's a lot of people on. Um, and yeah, that's that's about it actually. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.